Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to make this video real quick and just uh, show you something uh, that I've run into um, quite a few times. Um, and what it is, is I cannot gain any communication with this vehicle. This is a 2012 Mazda 6. The customer states that the check engine light is coming on, but I can't gain any communication with the vehicle using the Mazda IDS system. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. You can see this connector right here. This is the data link connector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the IDS interface right to it, just like that. And then we're going to go out. I'm going to need to put the key on, turn on the key, and we will start the session. And it's trying to communicate. And I mean, it should have gained communication by now, but it's just not working. It's giving itself 45 seconds to communicate, and it's going through the entire bar here. It has not communicated. And the data link connector is plugged in, as you saw, and the key is on. But what happens is uh, the customer usually, and I've only seen this with Mazda, um, usually the customer has their own um, tester or something like that, uh, maybe a, a, um, a code reader or something like that, and they shove it in there and it opens a pin tension on that, and because of that, the Mazda tester can't communicate because the pin tension is, is needs to be adjusted. And I've definitely seen this whenever people take their vehicle to AutoZone. I don't know what AutoZone uses to check their codes, but it uh, most definitely um, a, a pushes those pins open, and then we can't get any communication with the uh, Mazda IDS, so I'm gonna have to take the uh, data link connector apart and go through all those pins and adjust all the pin tension. <laughs> oh no. So, you might be asking, why not just use the generic scanner or whatever to diagnose it? And if it's communicating, why go through all the trouble of adjusting the pin tensions for the Mazda scanner? Well, this generic scanner right here is, this is a Matco scanner. And uh, I actually have the same issue with this one too. It, um, It'll communicate, but I have to tweak it. I gotta stick it in there and, and kind of hold it, you know, just right. And it'll communicate. If I move it wrong, it'll it'll completely die, and I gotta start the whole thing over again. Besides that, um, this is going to give me generic codes, and it's gonna. It does have the capability of doing some looking up some data, but nothing like the Mazda scanner can to the Mazda vehicle it will show me everything and I can diagnose it properly. So I need to get this data link connector right here um, adjusted. I need the pin tensions to be adjusted and um, then it'll communicate. Okay, let's get in here and see what we're looking at. I took this undercover off thinking we're gonna get better access, but oh uh, no, that's, that's about it right there. So that's your data link connector. And uh, let's look in the wiring schematic to see what exactly we're looking for. So here's the connector right here. 
There are certain connectors that we don't care about. Uh, we want to be able to get communication with the PCM. Uh, but we do definitely care about this one. This is uh, power to the connector, so that's one of them. Um, this one, auto light controller, we don't care about that. This one is the ground, and it's got uh, double ground. It's got this black one coming in here, along with this um, black and orange which loops back around. So we want to definitely check those two connectors and this one right here. So those are some we're going to go through. And this is the uh, control area network. Uh, this is uh, one of them. And whenever you see um, a schematic that looks like this and it's got these zigzag uh, lines like that, that just means it's uh, what they call a twisted pair. So they twist them together and make them uh, identify better and um, there's uh, less uh, interference whenever you do that. So the, you see this is an MS CAN, uh, MS Control Area Network L for this is the CAN low, this side same thing, CAN H, CAN high. So this is your high voltage and this is your low voltage and the together they'll equal out to 5 volts. So you might see on your high voltage side like 2.7 volts and on your low voltage side you'll see 2. Three volts, you know, it's equal out to five volts. Um, but we're not gonna check in voltage, we're just gonna um, adjust the pin tensions. So this one right here goes to auto AC instrument cluster uh, with Bluetooth, audio unit, Sirius satellite radio. So um, that's probably not one that we want to mess with. Uh, this one right here, the TCM, it's a transmission control module. Uh, it's a check connector, uh, keyless control, BCM, no we don't want that one either. This one has the BCM instrument cluster, uh, DSC, that's your traction control, BCM again, uh, ignition switch, okay right here, PCM. So your PCM goes and communicates through the BCM, it comes back out of the BCM and it goes to the data link connector, so these two connectors right here we're definitely going to want to check those because we want to gain communication to the PCM so we're going to check that one um, what else do we have here um, BSM uh, it's blind spot monitoring I'm not sure if this car has a blind spot monitoring um, check connector SAS control that's your your airbag system uh, BCM yeah so we don't need this one either okay so let's get these out of here so we don't need those so let's start with this one right here this this is a power and it's an orange so it's a zero or O that's for orange so it's orange wire and if we look on here we see this orange wire in the corner but it's on the bottom okay and if we look at this one, this is on the top. So the reason why it's like that is because when we look at this connector, we're actually looking at the front of the connector and not the back. So if we were to twist this where that orange one is, we twist it like this, now that orange one is on the top. So that is the one that we're looking at. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this one out, adjust the pin tension, these two, and then these two, so just those five. So let's get started on this. Yeah, I've had to deal with uh, pin tension adjustments before. Uh, I did a uh, video recently working on a Mazda Miata, which had bad pin tension causing transmission shift issues. Um, I'll put a link right up here so you can check that video out if you want. Okay, let's see if they can get this thing apart. I need to get this white tab out of here first. So, we're going for the orange one on the inside here. I believe it's on this one. There's a tab in there. That if I can grab it, I need to push the orange wire in from the back. Try and grab the tab. If 
I can feel it in there. Where is it? I should be able to push it in. It's so hard to see inside these things. Should be able to push this in. I should be able to pull it out the back. Okay, there it is. I guess I got it. And I didn't know it. So it is impossible to see, but there's a tab that you push down. The tab that's holding on. I believe it's this side right here. So the tab pushes in on this like that and. It won't allow the, the, the pin to pull up because the tab is pushing up against it. So you need to reach in there and grab that tab and disconnect it so it'll pull back. So anyway, this is the first one. So we're going to adjust the pin tension. And I'm going to go through this back side right here. This one should be fairly easy. I'll just push it just like that. And if you see the front, it looks like, you know, I don't know if you can see that. It's like way closed now. So I pushed it too far, but that's all right. Whenever I push my scanner in there, it will open it and it will have good pin tension then. <clears throat> so I need to do all of them just like that. Get this one back into place so we don't forget where it goes. And there it is, it popped in. Now it's st stuck in there. So the next one, is on the lower side and it is a black with orange and then a black and it's one two three four one two three four over it's these two
Okay, let's see if let's see if this thing works now. Uh, let me get connector plugged up in there. It definitely felt tight. So Oh, I should probably turn the key on. What did I do with the key? Where's the key? Where's the key? There's the key. Okay, let's see if let's see if it works. Instantly, just like that. Progress went over. Does it have DSC? Yes, it does. Blind spot detection. Well, actually, I don't know. I took all that off. But it does have traction control. It does not have blind spot detection. So, it's not fitted. Advanced key is not equipped, and there it is. It's instant. So that is how you adjust pin tension in your data link connector. So if you're sticking anything into your data link connector, guys, um, think twice about it, about what it is you're putting in there, and do you really need it in there? Uh, because it can cause damage to the pins, and then somebody's gotta go in and just the pen tension so uh, just think about that and um, if uh, you want to see what's going on with this vehicle what the check engine light is on for just run around down in the comments and uh, we can get to that too uh, but for now I think this will do it for this short video thanks for watching